fucking weight, you fat pig. You gotta move more and eat less. So how do you know for sure that you're eating less calories than last week? Count the fucking calories, you fucking moron. Lazy cunt. How in the fuck do you know for sure you're eating less fucking food? Count the fucking calories. Go get a fucking food scale and figure it the fuck out. Fuck. Doesn't matter if you're eating fucking keto. Doesn't matter what the fuck you're eating. Okay, you think you can't gain weight on keto? Okay, use myself for the example. Okay, you fat fucking pig. If I eat 3,500 calories on keto with my current lifestyle, with the amount I move, I won't lose shit. I won't lose shit on 3,500 on keto, on a ketogenic diet. I gotta cut it back. How the fuck do I know I'm eating less than 3,500? I gotta count the calories, you fat fucking cunt. Count the fucking calories, doesn't matter what the fuck you're eating. If you're not losing weight, the only way you're gonna know you're eating less fucking food is if you log the fucking calories on the week, you're a fucking retard. Fuck. There's one other way that you can fucking track how much you're fucking eating without counting the calories. That is something you, most of you will not do. Eat the same fucking thing every day. The same exact fucking meal. If you're eating OMAD, one meal a day, and you're eating fucking, let's just use fucking bacon. Okay, let's use bacon for the example. So I'm eating the same fucking food. Let's say for me it's two packs of bacon. And let's say I'm not losing weight on two packs. Then I could what? Eat a pack and a half, and then see what that does. Okay, because I know that I'm gonna be close on two packs. So then I'm eating the same fucking food, so I just cut back a few slices. But that's if you're eating the same fucking thing every fucking day, you fucking fat pig. Okay, and I still ballpark, I know the calories close even on that. Okay, like all these motherfuckers are eating fucking strict meat only. Okay, eating ribeye steak nonstop. Okay, they may not be counting the calories, but they're sure as fuck counting the fucking poundage of meat, you idiot. It's like, I ate two pounds of fucking ribeye steak the last week. I didn't lose shit. And then they cut it back to a fucking pound and a half, and they start losing weight. It's the same shit. If they would have been counting the calories on the ribeye steak at whatever it is, 300 calorie per 100 gram, they could fucking log the number too. You got to do one or the other. How the fuck are you supposed to know that you're actually dropping the calorie count down, the food volume down on the week? You got to count the fucking calories, you fucking pig. You got to use one or the other. How in the fuck do you know if you're eating less fucking food, you fucking moron? You got to count the fucking calories and know that you're actually eating less than last week or you're going to be eating the exact same fucking thing every fucking day. That's how I did it on that fucking OMAD McDonald's diet, okay? Because the fucking McDonald's menu said that a double quarter pounder was fucking 800 cal. So I know from experience, because I've counted fucking food before, and I know ballpark when I needed to get in, about 3,000 eating carbs at the time with the amount of activity I was doing. So what's that put me at? Three of those fucking burgers, which is ballpark 2,400, and then I just add in whatever I added in, some peanut butters to make up the difference. So even if the calories weren't perfect on the numbers on the menu, it didn't matter because I was eating the same fucking thing every fucking day. So if my weight started creeping down too quick, I just bump up those peanut butters. Okay, we're not fucking arguing about what I was eating. Yeah, it's junk. But the point is, it's the same fucking thing. If I was gaining weight slightly, I just pull back those peanut butter packs at like 100 cal a pop. So it was easy. I, I didn't even fucking, I was eating the same fucking thing every day. So that's the other way you can do it. If you're willing to fucking do that, you fat fucking lazy cunt. You either count the calories or eat the same fucking food every fucking day. It's simple if you're doing OMAD. You don't even have to fucking count shit throughout the day. You got one fucking meal and you fucking wait out and figure the fuck out. Fuck. Now people will fucking be like, well, what do I start at, Cole? Starting calorie count. For women, 
Started a thousand cal in a fucking meal or two meals that are maybe 500 a pop or 600 and 400 tight eating window. Okay, let's talk OMAD or fucking something that looks like a warrior diet where you got a wider eating window. Okay, thousand cal. I don't even care if it was two meals a day, breakfast, dinner, thousand cal. Start at a thousand if you're a fat fucking woman, you fat fucking pig. Start there. If you're not losing, Pull the fucking food back as cunt hair and bump up the fucking activity. First bump activity up if you're not losing weight and you're close. Always bump the activity up first, you fat lazy cunt. And then if your activity's through the fucking roof and you're still not losing weight, pull the fucking calories back. How do you know that you're pulling the fucking calories back? Because you're counting them, you idiot. And for men, a good starting point for a lot of fat men, 2,000. Okay? If you're not losing weight on 2,000, pull it back. Now you gotta remember, you're throwing in long fasts here and there too, so you should for sure be losing if you're throwing in the odd 72 hour fast, 48 hour fast, 24 hour fast on snake juice, super fat pigs might even be doing a seven day fast. But your default routine would be the 1,000 for women or the 2,000 cal for men on the eating days to start. Simple starting point, fuck. Count the fucking calories, you fat fucking cut. Till next time, stop fucking eating, fatty.